So one of the viewers commented on a video asking if I know anything about convertible senior notes that SoFi is offering and why the stock is down. I'll show you those messages in just a second. Now, usually when a company offers notes or bond, that is to raise money. And for SoFi, it's really a good thing. Actually, the news for this particular note came out like a wildfire, but did you know that SoFi just also issued $450 million bonds under their student loan program? I have a separate video for it prepared and I will release it soon. So when I researched the news, I posted on community tab under our YouTube channel what it means and also a trade that took place exactly at 11.06 a.m. If you have not seen it, then head over there after the video and check it out. And also comment below and tell me if you bought SoFi stock, if you sold SoFi stock, or you played options on so far today. Okay, coming back to the news. So the news is actually very good because that means they are getting ready for some major expansion. Now, if you combine this with the $450 million bond, which I have a video that I said I'm going to release, they closed that deal yesterday, which was September 28th. That's a total of $1.2 billion in new capital. That's massive. Let me share my screen and let me show you what happened today in the market and why this is really important to sometimes stop looking at short-term stuff and look at the bigger picture. I will also show you a small trade I made and why I only made a small trade. So first, let me give full credit to Gerald and Star SS. Sorry, don't know your name because you are the guys, those who broke this news to me. Now, I'm usually pretty good with my notification and I check it on a regular basis. I had no idea about this particular sale of the notes that SoFi announced this morning until you guys posted and I immediately started to look and that's when I found the information. So thank you for sharing that. So of course, I have dealt with senior notes in the past. So I knew the reason why they're doing it because they need to generate more capital and they're getting ready for expansion. So it won't be that bad in the long run and I was not worried about SoFi, but I wanted to connect the dots as to why now. Now we know that the bank charter is just around the corner and I mean we should be getting the news in October or by latest by November. I was thinking we're going to get it in September, but didn't happen. Of course, we have a few more days left, so it could happen in early October or maybe November the latest is what I feel. Again, my opinion only, and I have no other information than what you guys already know. And that is why I feel that they need lots of capital to seed the bank charter business and also to make new loans. So earlier this year, when SoFi confirmed the bank acquisition, one of the things I remember analysts asking SoFi was why such a small bank? Because Golden Pacific Bank is quite small as per SoFi's standard, about 150 million in assets. Now, SoFi disclosed at that time that they plan to contribute almost 750 million of its own capital to get the bank ready for national expansion. Here is the statement right here. So this is a full article that came out on March 9th right here. SoFi has big banking ambitions and is committing 750 million to them. And in that article, there is a line right here. I'm going to underline it. Golden Pacific doesn't really meet SoFi's banking needs for its current form, about 150 million in assets, which is quite small. And then, but SoFi plans to contribute 750 million of its own capital to get the bank ready for rapid national expansion. Now, again, when I'm reading this article today, it kind of makes sense that they're raising this kind of money, but there could be many other reasons why they need to raise capital. So it's kind of makes sense that the bank charter is very near and that is why SoFi raised the capital along with the recent ABS. And here's the confirmation of that ABS, the 454 billion that I mentioned here, SoFi Professional Loan Program 2020B Trust, and it actually closed on September 28th. They raised about $454.79 billion under their student loan program. So now when we see such good news around, then why is the stock down? I mean, this is all raising funds, raising capital is all a good thing because that means the company is really, really ready for expansion. But then why is the stock down? Take a look at the chart and I'm going to show you a graph which measures greed and fear. It's pretty interesting. And remember the saying, when people are fearful, be greedy. And when people are greedy, be fearful. Well, I actually plot that in my charts. So this is the chart around 7.30 is right here. And this is when the trading started. So I think you can see, yes. Okay, so as you can see, the news broke at around this time. That see that blue dot that you see is when the news broke, okay? And then all different news media started to report about the same news. So then when the news broke, all of a sudden we see this panic selling. This is, by the way, the fear and the greed chart right here. So as soon as it came and the fear started and people started to sell, the RSI dropped, went under 30 and it's remained under 30 until the stock opened at 9.30 a.m. 9.30 a.m. people started to figure it out. You know what? This is a good thing. And the sell off right here does not make sense. So I should buy. And then they started to buy the stock right here. 
and then the greed went up the RSI touched almost 80 and then we can see right here these are all volume candles green 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 and then some blue so they were like you know what I'm gonna take profit here take profit here and then after that the fear came back for some reason people thought you know what this is not a good thing now not all of it is so far related because the market as a whole went down as well because of the China news because of the Fed news the market started to track down and so is so far and the 11 o'clock trade that I posted over here happened right here when we were at this price point and then after that we kept coming down and then the fear started to raise up now I'm recording this video at around 2 o'clock so I really don't know where the stock will close but right Right now I see a lot more red candles and a lot more fear in the SoFi stock. So looking at the chart, one thing is clear that this news created a panic when the news came out. But then trader get some sense and they started to buy but then the market fear came back and this was not SoFi related as I mentioned. In my opinion this was a market wide sale as most of the stocks came down a bit from the morning highs. Now because of the market fear and what was going in the market. I opened a small trade again it's around before two o'clock I opened the trade so I really don't know how it's going to pan out for the rest of the day but this is what I did so as most of you know I already have about 6,000 SoFi stock I have about 100 December 2023 $15 put but then I actually bought 20 April 22nd 1750 call and I got it at about two dollars and nine cents now this right now is down about five percent I'm up about 20% in my December 2023 put and I'm up about I would say 3.77% in my SoFi stock which I don't even pay attention to. It's fine. It's a long term play I'm playing. These are the things that I pay attention to in the short term. Not very short term. This is April 2022 and this is December 2023. Now I just want to clear one thing. I'm not a big fan of calls right now just because of the Terra decay or the time decay that the market is giving to us. Because the market is so uncertain. Because the Fed is so uncertain. You never know when we have a really bad day and all the gains that you made in last one week can go away down the drain because Fed decided to take a turn that people were not expecting. So because of the market fear I'm a big fan of put not call. The reason why I did call is because of the fear that I saw in the market so I was just taking an advantage of this fear. I'm not planning to hold these calls till April 2022. No way. I'm going to get out of it as soon as we hit the bank charter news or if we see a update in SoFi. Whichever comes first I'm going to take some profit. My goal is to make about 20 to 30 percent from my options if I'm trading options like this. If I'm trading uh, like these puts then my goal is almost 50 percent but if I'm trading options like this then 20 to 30 percent they'll do it for me and I'm out. Now I want to open another big position on SoFi just waiting for the IV to get better on them as IV is low for me right now. Next I'm going to show you a chart that basically plots the IV of SoFi. As you can see right now we had a very high IV around June of this year when the stock was going up and down. It was trading in 20s, it came down, it went back up and then after that we kind of reached around August in the mid of August the, the IV went up again. Right now it's under 80 which is not optimal for me. I wanted to come to over 100 where it was in June as that will be the prime time to play options and I believe we will see these numbers when we hit the bank charter. Now I would like to make something very clear and this is my opinion only and entertainment purposes only. See the thing is when a big news like SoFi bank charter is due a lot of it has already priced in. I do not believe when they say that SoFi will 10x 20x because of the bank charter. Yes the stock will eventually do very well but bank charter will give it a good boost. The real price action will come in when they become profitable and when there is a major adoption in the service. I also feel that they may be getting ready to buy another company and that is the reason why they need all the funds. There is no way either you or me or anybody can tell what is the real reason they are raising funds. Could be for bank charter, could be for another company acquisition, could be for anything. So keep it real and understand that stock is not going to the moon over just bank charter. It will go on perfect execution of the company which I have full faith in team that they will do it. Hope I provided some value and cleared few things for you guys. If you like the video then consider subscribing to the channel and hit the like button so we can reach out to more SoFi lovers. As always absolute pleasure to be here. Until next time you all have a sparkling day.